This is Binet, and I'm going to show you how to make French toast from a leftover cake. This recipe I found was from tastemade.com, and I'm making it from a peppermint cake that my mom made that didn't turn out quite right. So I'm going to start by slicing our cake. Yeah, that cake didn't work out the way I wanted it to. Yeah, it was quite dense. And the lesson I learned from this was if it calls for egg whites, just use the egg whites because the uh, store-bought egg whites that you make your breakfast with, the reconstituted stuff, doesn't work. So we're going to start by splitting your cake in half. Yeah, it's quite dense. We didn't like and that cake. And fourths. Very nice. Then. Okay, I just showed Bina an easier way and a safer way to do this. Perfect. And we did this four times, so how many slices do we get, Bina? We did it three times. Well, we're going to do it four times. So how many slices do we end up with uh, in total? <laughs> you can count if you must, but you just made four and then you halved four. So if you multiply four by Eight. two, there you go. So Binet, what ingredients are we using? We have two eggs, half a cup, half heavy cream, teaspoon and half teaspoon of what what's in there cinnamon and half teaspoon of vanilla okay so let's mix those all up just pour them in and we'll mix them up and so this is what we're going to use as our <laughs> our base right it looks really nice rich and creamy which is what we need because that piece of cake needs serious hydration rehydration Really okay, cool. and so the same, yep, the same measure that you used for your cinnamon. Do that. Great. So we're whisking everything up, right, Binet? Yeah. Yeah, it's very creamy. And it smells good. Soon we're gonna move over to the stovetop. Great. So we're going. We are soaking our cake in the mix that we just whisked and we're getting our stove top ready. Right now it's at 7 and you can use ghee or butter. Okay, so you're using ghee because we had some ghee from our last uh, recipe. Yeah. We're going to try it out. So I would just put that packet Just in there. Yep. Because it's hot. So it melts. Look at that. Yeah. And um, let's go ahead and flip that piece of cake, you know. We're never afraid to get our hands dirty. So we just turn it over and let the other side soak. And what's really cool is those holes come in handy for getting it rehydrated and soaked up. Yeah? Hey. <laughs> All right, so I'm actually going to help you swirl this around. Thank you. And we're going to go ahead and get started. We wanted to make sure our heat was hot enough, so we're ready now. I'm going to put this one in here. Yeah, so that's definitely ready. You can put your next one. And that way we make good use of our surface area here. Oops. Try not to have a lot of drips. So get a little closer and keep soaking. And now think about your flip. See what that first one looks like. Nice. <laughs> always get too excited when you see that. All right, Bine, good job. 
Good job. We went ahead and popped a few more in there. Let's see what our first one looks like. Yeah, I like it. That's like a chunky, super chunky uh, French toast. You want to put your last ones in? Let's go ahead and flip. Yeah, and then we'll start flipping the rest. So you try to... We've been going off. So we've been going here and it looks like you're ready to flip a couple more and maybe even take some out. So let's see how that one looks when you flip it. Trying to. You're doing great, Bine. Sometimes I flip things backwards, so just let it fall. Yeah. <laughs> That's totally mommy style. This one? Let's do, yeah, let's do that. Uh, yeah, let's do that one and the next one. <laughs> That's okay. You got this. That looks good. Let's see. We can take that one out. Ooh. I like it. And that one too. Even better. So let's try and flip. How about flipping this one right here? Try not try not to flip up top because we get splash and splash can burn. Okay, so try to do some low flips. Alright, so we're gonna see how those taste in a little bit. So I just got done and I'm ready to try this. And I know this is probably not good for health, but I'm just gonna go ahead and put some whipped cream. Bine. <laughs> okay, Bine. I think the rest of us would like to have some of that without the whipped cream. Thank you for watching this French toast video. My next video is silent, and I will show you how to make chocolate chip muffins from the same leftover cake. Those are just like huge cookies. <laughs>
wheel. That's you do. Subscribe.